Hi y'all, I'm More That Is Strange and I have something special for you today. Here are 10 scary videos that were too long to upload to YouTube Shorts. These are some of the most creepiest photos on the internet. This first photo is a trail cam photo. Trail cams are essentially camera devices that are hooked to trees and things like that in the wilderness to take photos of game. The OP said that his uncle captured this in the woods near their home. What I find really disturbing about this image is whatever this is, it looks like a human. But when you zoom in on it, it looks less human. Its mouth looks really wide and open and it has really slender arms and torso. The Cooper family falling photo is from the 1950s. It shows a family sitting at a dining room table and then this thing falling from the ceiling. Now, a lot of people believe that this is some sort of photo manipulation. And in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, they did do like ghost photos where they overexposed other photos onto photos. Like this one, you'll see this ghost scaring these people and this one as well. But in the Cooper family photo, the thing that is falling from the ceiling doesn't look like another photo just imposed on the original photo. You can actually see shadow on the table and whatever this is looks absolutely terrifying. Here's in comparison of the ghost photos they did to this one. It looks completely different. What do you think? Now this final series of photos that I'm about to show you were taken at the Crescent Hotel in Arkansas. This hotel was built in 1886 on hot springs and it's notorious for being haunted. The OP said their aunt was staying there and she took a photo of the hallway and there's this thing on the ceiling. As you can see, there's another thing back here and it has like a reddish hue to it. This photo was taken the next day. They said you couldn't see this with your eyes, but they did see it on their phone when they took the picture. It almost looks like blood. And it actually looks like it's coming down the wall over here and it looks like there's a cross within this one which is absolutely terrifying. Now I've owned a smartphone for a long time and I've never had a smartphone do something like this. What do you think about this? Let me know. This video was shared to Reddit by KJ Salty. It was taken from a window from an airplane. At first you see the sphere shaped object floating next to the airplane. But then right here is when things get weird. The object starts to morph into a long, slender object. Many people in the comments compared it to a Dementor from Harry Potter. Others said it could possibly be some sort of smoke, while some Redditors even think that it's tearing a rip in our dimension. The object not only changed its shape, it looks like it changed from a solid object to some sort of smoke or mist. KG Salty said that he had just departed from Denver and about 30 minutes into his flight, he saw this. And he was heading west and he was filming it to the north and it was filmed today. What do you think this thing is? Is it a UFO? A Dementor from Harry Potter? Or what is this? Let me know. Did you know there was a case in Appalachia where a woman solved her own murder after her death? Almost 126 years ago, Elva Hester Shue was found unalived in her home in West Virginia by a local boy who was sent by her husband, Erasmus Shue, to ask what she wanted from the market. After Erasmus and a doctor tried to revive Elva, her husband requested for a desist from further examination. Soon after this, he dressed her in a dress with a long, stiff collar and buried her in a nearby cemetery. Nothing else was done. It was considered an accident. Weeks after her death, Mary Hester, Elva's mother, had visions of Elva telling her that her neck was squeezed off at the first joint. Mary went to the judges and was able to get Elva's body exhumed. To further medical examination, it was determined that Elva had been strangled to death. Her windpipe was crushed and her neck was broken. So... Now an accidental death was considered a murder, and the number one suspect was the husband. Because of her mother's testimony, within an hour, the jury found the husband guilty of murder. He was sentenced to life in prison, where he died after only three years from the flu epidemic.
Do you think a ghost really solved this murder? Or what do you think happened here? This is probably one of the creepiest things that's ever happened on reality TV. This took place on Big Brother Brazil. This roommate, Sita, was sunbathing when all of a sudden she heard somebody calling her name. Just watch. Now this roommate right here said that she heard Sita yelling who is calling me? Who is calling me? She thought that the crew members were calling her. She thought that people in the house were calling her. So she called for her while she was doing laundry and said that she was the one who said her name. But she was very concerned and was talking to her other roommate about how she thought that something was wrong with Sita's mental health. But then she talks about what all Sita was saying. And that's when it gets really creepy. Um. The roommate said that Sita kept saying it sounded like her sister's voice. Later that day, Sita found out her sister had died from cancer. But she wasn't informed until way later. But she had actually passed away about 30 minutes before Sita heard her calling her. This makes you wonder if some people are able to communicate with the dead. What do you think? This video was uploaded to the Daily Motion by this user. It's said to be taken in Flacy, France. This group of friends had a bonfire going when they noticed something next to a tree and they thought it was a dog. So they throw a torch from the bonfire towards the tree and what they capture on video is absolutely insane. Just watch. Some sort of strange looking creature reaches around the tree towards the fire. The creature has really long fingers on its hands, very pale or gray skin. The person immediately picks up the torch and throws it at it and starts looking for it and they can't find it. I tried to zoom in and enhance the video the best I could. Look at this thing. It almost looks like a classic version of an ET or an extraterrestrial, but it could also fit the description of what people call a rake. What do you think this creature is? It's definitely not a dog. This video was shared to Facebook by Donine Bull David. It was recorded in the Louis Bull Tribe Reserve in Alberta, Canada. Donine and her family were hanging out in their living room when they heard strange noises coming from the field behind their house. <laughs> hears a strange raspy voice coming from the field behind their house and it's pretty much carrying a conversation with them asking them if they want to play 
and mocking them. They said that they called the police and the police couldn't find anything in the field, but they did hear the voice as well. So I looked into the native cryptids of Alberta, Canada. Probably the most infamous is the Wendigo, a cannibalistic spirit that lives in the desolate parts of the woods in the northern part of America and Alberta, Canada. But I don't think that's what this is. Now I did find something in Inuit lore. It's called a Tutarjit. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that correctly. And this creature is said to play the string game. And it specifically targets children that are staying up late playing games. It'll ask them if they want to play the game with it. And if the child loses, it gets to take the child away with it. But if it wins, it disappears. What do you guys think about this? Do you think it could be some sort of cryptid living on this reserve? Or maybe some sort of spirit? Let me know your thoughts. A 7.6 magnitude earthquake hit Japan the very first day of 2024, along with a tsunami hitting the Nato Peninsula. Unfortunately, these people only had hours to evacuate their homes. This natural disaster happened less than six months after an oar fish was spotted off the coast of Taiwan and another oar fish had washed up on the coast. Oar fish are considered doomsday fish. They are very deep sea creatures that hardly ever surface. They're called the messengers from the sea god's palace. While scientists urge that the old myth doesn't hold any merit, they say there's no scientific evidence linking these fish to natural disasters. Yet before every severe earthquake and tsunami, these fish seem to appear. Almost like a sign from Mother Earth herself, warning people to prepare. Right now is a critical time for rescuers in Japan as they scavenge the rubble to find any survivors. The death toll is currently at 62 people and they expect to be more and they're also warning people of landslides and aftershocks. If you want to donate to help victims, you can donate to the Japanese Red Cross Society or their local charity. Steph's Basement 89 is a short-lived YouTube channel with only four or five videos, but it's about this girl named Steph living in an apartment in New York that she believes is haunted. Steph and two other people live in this apartment. And I believe this channel is from like the early 2000s because they're playing rock band in their basement. Steph's recording one of her roommates to show the other roommate that they're getting good at the drums. Yeah, Chris Dan. I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting like really good at the drums. So you might have some competition when you get back. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you soon. This clip is absolutely terrifying, and if you didn't see it, here it is again slowed down. You see some sort of figure standing in this small closet to the side. Mind you, these two are the only two at home at the time. Steph, the one recording, and the other one playing the drums. But there's somebody standing in their utility closet. This closet has also captured the attention of Steph's dog. And as you can see in this video, it's a very small closet. Steph actually moved out shortly after this video was taken. Do you think this person captured an actual ghost on camera? Do you think it's just some sort of hoax? This video uploaded to TikTok by Marquette Jean Hubbin has sparked quite a bit of controversy on whether or not animals have souls. And after they pass, do they linger here on Earth? Just watch. Gary? Why? It's a monster. There's a monster in the window. I'll look. See? I'll look. 
On Marquette's daughter's baby monitor, what looked like a cat ran through the door and across her room. Marquette immediately got up and went to check on her daughter, but watch. I tried to enhance it and I played with the contrast and brightness so you guys could see it better, but it looks like it just manifests itself. And it definitely looks like a cat sprinting across the room. Marquette mentioned that her cat passed away the summer before this was taken. So what do you think? Young children having imaginary friends is seen as a normal part of child development. It's very common for children at young ages to have imaginary friends. But what do you do when the imaginary friend doesn't seem very imaginary? When things start to seem a little bit more than creepy when it comes to your child's imaginary friend. That's what happened to this TikToker. For several days, his child had been playing with his imaginary friend in his rooms. And then he decided to record one day and he walked into this. Just watch. Elliot, what are you doing? I'm doing my bedroom. Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? Oh, why have you drawn that? Oh, really? Yeah. What does he do? Um, he annoys me at the night. Why? Because he does this. Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Okay. The father obviously found this interaction very odd and the drawing very scary, to say the least. So he started documenting every time his son had interactions with this imaginary friend. And on one particular occasion, he captured something really sad and scary. Just watch and tell me what you think. Stop it. Hello, what are you doing? Oh, really? Yeah. Right? He cried and I just keep saying stop it. Is he crying? Yeah. So this is the photo of the hanging man. He's seen in the corner of his room. I'm going to ask him to draw it again when I've rubbed it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? No, can you tell me off at night? What if I don't let him? What if you can sleep in my room? Is that okay? Yeah. Right, so what's the what's these on his face? These. What's this? Um, straight. Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Yeah, because he's got his fever up there and he's up there. Okay. In the corner. Okay, thank you. But he annoys me at the night because he keeps saying he always bangs and he just... Okay. After Elliot drew this photo, he had a hard time sleeping for several days. He pretty much didn't sleep for at least three days. So the father decided to put him in a different room and put a baby monitor in the room with him, hoping that Elliot could get some sleep when he captured something absolutely bizarre on the baby monitor. It actually looks like the child is being yanked out of bed after you hear a terrifying growl from somewhere in the room. So what do you guys think? Do you think this kid's just got an imaginary friend? Do you think that this hanging man is some sort of spirit that passed away in this home? And what would you do if this was your child? What can you do? If you enjoy this long form content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Good night.